Hey guys, it's Trice here, back with Automation, the car company tycoon game in the most torquiest engine series. We're going to be building this Boxer 4 engine with the most torque as a version 4.2.16. I'm back with this part of the series of update these particular engines from the stable version of 4.1 to the beta version of 4.2. This engine will have the most torque it can handle while having a respectable power band which you'll see later. So now, let's get on with the engine build. So first of all, on the top left portion of your screen is you set the year, max this out to the year of 2020 to maximize everything related to the engine. And after choosing the Boxer 4 engine configuration, you may choose any module that you may choose from, choose magnesium for the sake of weight. And for the bore and stroke, you square this off, max this out to 120 millimeters each to get the engine size to 5,429 cubic centimeters, around 5.4 liters. And we're going to be using a dual overhead cam 5 valve. Again, whatever head material that you may choose from, choose magnesium or excuse me, aluminum silicone for the sake of weight. And for this quality slider, as you see right here, is you set this bad boy to a plus 15 for everything. No matter through the engine block in general, the top end, bottom end, turbo, exhaust, fuel, everything. Just to get the most power and more importantly, the most torque out of this particular engine. For the balance shaft, you're required to have a harmonic damper built in to reduce the chance the crankshaft from exploding due to high RPM stress. And for the crank cam rods and pistons, everything's gonna be the strongest ones as possible, so a built steel crankshaft with lightweight titanium cam rods and regular forged pistons. For the compression, you max this out like my recent engine builds to a 15.0 to 1 ratio at an extreme level. With the cam profile set a little bit high to a 52, the springs and lifters soften this up quite a bit to a 37, and of course, VVT at all cams. For the turbocharger, we're going to be using a twin turbo setup running on a smart boost system. With the inner core, you set this to a none setting at zero horsepower, so no inner core whatsoever. And it should automatically select this for you for the aspiration setup details. So we'll be using a variable geometry setup of a ball bearing type of turbo with the compressor size set to 109.5 millimeters right here. The turbine pretty much slap dab right in the middle at an 82.0 millimeters. The compressor an AR trim, you set this all the way down to a zero. And lastly, for the maximum boost, is you set this to a 36.3 psi. For the fuel system, it's pretty much straightforward like most of my other builds, so we're going to be using a direct injection throttle per cylinder performance high intake running on the DevMev fuel, with the fuel mixture set to a 10.6 at a rich setting, with the ignition timing maxed out all the way to 100, and a maximum RPM limit will be set at 7500 RPM. And finally, for the exhaust everything, so for the headers, we're using some turbocharged racing headers with a dual exhaust setup, with the exhaust diameter set to 171 millimeters, right on the mark, which equals to 6.75 inches. And like always, no cats, no muffers, bring the quality up. And we get the final horsepower rating of 2,358.7 horsepower at 7,500 RPM. And the highlight of the video is the torque at 1,870.9 pounds feet of torque at 5,100 RPM. And right away, as you see here with the stress here, with the pistons and cow rods, it shows at 100%, but you look at the reliability factor on the left side of your screen, it's showing at a 0.2, which is not at a 0.0, .0 meaning that the engine won't run. It'll run, which you'll see a little bit later. But with the pistons and comrades stress being at 100%, realistically, it should blow up, but with the current state of automation and Beam and G, it doesn't do that. But in Beam and G, it takes like a couple minutes for the engine and the turbo to overheat, and that's the best that those games can do. Like automation, it'll run, and Beam and G, it'll run for like a few minutes, and that's it. Alright, with this part of the video, as I play around at the manual testing mode giving you here the engine, I'll cycle through the main important graphs out here, starting with the power and torque, and the torque of boost, torque and efficiency, and power and efficiency. After showing you all those main important graphs, I'll show the engine as is, do some fake gear shifts for a while, and we'll end off the video right there. So now, bring back the graph visibility, and give you here this engine, right now.
It's kind of interesting, the engine doesn't sound that loud, but the turbocharger really takes its place here. So that'll do it with Automation, the car company tycoon game with this torque heavy Boxer 4 engine. Despite the con rods and pistons that are really close to exploding, according to Automation, the engine runs fine. Again, as long as the reliability factor is not at a 0.0, .0 the engine would run as so, like you just seen a little bit ago. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including my automation to BMG Drive videos too. So this is Triads Rising Up, and signing out.